Okay, YouTube, trying to do a side-by-side -side comparison without any other distractions of the junk around. Um, this is a problem with with Portland or Lime. They're going to dust when you when you strike them, and that dull sound, that, that, it actually sounds pretty good if you thump on it with your finger. Um, these all do, but what Portland can't do is bind to the organic material. It's just not capable by itself. Um, even that's with the help of the with the triide the the clay binder that they put in here. Um, now you can you can step up the mixture just a little bit, um, and it'll have a a little bit better. But even like that, it, it's still not gonna bind um, to the to the organic. It, it just it's not possible. And this is Portland. This is a lime with a bentonite in it. Same same basic property. It, it's a little bit more solid, um, but it still it, is not capable of fully binding um, like that to the to the fiber. If if it's messed with it at all, if it's locked into a wall, it'd be just fine. Um, there'd be no um, issue at all for its strength. I mean, compressively, this could hold up like a two story house. Um, this is self-supporting if the roof is light enough, but that's the thing. Conventional materials are, um, they're heavy and they're not very strong. These are in reverse. These are extremely light, but extremely strong. The, the fiber, um, stepping up from this is when you fortify the, the, nothing more, here's one, it's better, is, um, when you fortify the material first with like an acrylic, you can't even scratch the um, the Portland, and that's just regular Portland. The Portland from the material anymore, and with an acrylic molymer, uh, it'll grow roots into the into the organic material. It's something to consider, is what I'm trying to get at um, to modify your material. Um, fairly cheap and easy is um, you know it's uh, something to really consider. Now. Um, this one is just a, a test brick. It's just the same thing, Portland, um, but just shiv and, and no hope in comparison to strength. And now this is a geopolymer modified, and you can tell by all the beat marks. It's went through a lot of I'll zoom in there so you can see what this poor thing has went through. Maybe I can do it that way. There you go. Um, this thing has went through abuse. That's just not, um, you know, whatever you want to call it, just like normal ingot test a little bit more because this thing could do what a normal ingot can't. And, um, and that's like be solid and it can never come back apart. It's an exothermic bond. Um, uh, how to say that? It exotherm is hydraulic in action in nature. That's why this one pushed through the webbing where this one didn't. This would be just regular Portland, um, nothing exothermic, well, slightly exothermic, but nothing hydraulic about the, the action. This is fully hydraulic, and it's ex exothermic on top of it all. So once it's together, um, you're not getting this back apart. Not, not with, you know, relative means. This is a four-pound hit slammer. It's not coming back apart. It's fairly solid. Just um, even on the, on the, whatever you want to call that, the most exposed, um, it's quite different is what I'm trying to get at. Okay, that's the strength difference between these guys. When people talk about the insulation only factor, they're talking about this one and its stepchild. That's the shiv lime only. That's the Puritan mix. Um, and that is the weakest one. But once you step it up to a Portland um, and you modify it or fortify it with an acrylic, um, then this, oh, no, let me see, this is a better one anyways. Is it like that stone? No, it's not. And But is it chipping or, or coming apart? No, it's not. Um, this one, yeah, if you hit it, you already saw that, is, um, it, it will come apart is what I'm trying to get at. It's just chemistry. 
simple chemistry. Drop me a note. I appreciate every comment down here somewhere. It says like and, and um, subscribe and all that. I really appreciate those, y'all. Um, keeps me going. Is um, This is fun to do. This will be my next house right here. And anybody who wants to do that, I take a $30,000 consulting fee, and I will tell you the recipe of this. Um, it doesn't have to be this. That's shiv um, lime. You know, no, actually, this is purposely ground, so it's extremely strong. It's just, um, it's just a binder that, um, well, you can do better, is what I'm saying. There's just better you can do. So, okay, appreciate y'all. Have fun and um, and stay safe and all that. All right, bye.